Hi everyone, another uh, anti post video for Cheltenham 2020. So there's three bets put up already, and two horses I talked about as well. The, they've all been reasonable um, bets. The bets have done well so far, I've contracted in odds most of them, and the horses that we talked about look okay at the moment, um, but they weren't bets anyway. So this video is just about the meeting coming up, the December meeting, and a couple of horses that I'm looking at going forward for the Cheltenham Festival in 2020, but they're not bets to, uh, tomorrow or on Saturday, but they're horses that I'm looking at with a view to Cheltenham and uh, horses that I think you should keep a very close eye on. First of those is uh, in the first race tomorrow, um, on Friday at Cheltenham in the 1210, horses Chantry House and Nicky Henderson's now. He's 4 to 5, 8 to 11. It's so not a betting proposition, but I think he could be one of the top novices in Britain. And we're going to see how he hurdles tomorrow. He's won a very good bumper at Warwick late last season, beating Edward Stone, who's come out and done really well in novice hurdles this season. Won a very nice novice hurdle actually last Saturday. So he's a very interesting horse going forward. And Chantry House really will need to win this at that sort of odds, 8 to 11. I think he could be the best British novice hurdler. But that's a big statement. Whether he's good enough to beat the Irish novice hurdlers, well, that remains to be seen. But he's going to have to do it tomorrow and then moving forward. Can't really recommend a bet on him. In the any race market, he might be worth a few pounds. I tried to get on today, was offered a pound 48 at 16 to 1. I mean, that's just absolutely unbelievable. These companies are paying their CEOs obscene amounts of money. I mean, the Bet 365 CEO got 230 million for a year, and uh, they're offering, well, it wasn't them that offered a pound 48, but they're all a joke, really, and they're all in the Racing Post's pocket. The Racing UK are in their pocket, and a Panther's got no chance, really. I mean, we're not talking about big money here. They haven't even offered me, like, £15 at 6 to 1. I mean, that's just joke bookmaking, really. Real bookmakers are turning their grave, seeing how bookmaking is now. Anyway, Chantry House is a horse I'm very keen on going forward, and not for tomorrow. Hopefully he'll win tomorrow, and hopefully he'll look very special tomorrow, because he's a horse that I, I'm hoping I'm talking about on Monday when I review the racing or Tuesday, whenever I do it, but I'm hoping I'll be talking about him. The other horse I want to talk about, it's another favourite really in the Caspian Caviar Gold Cup. <coughs> I'd be keen on Riders in the Storm, Riders on the Storm. I thought he was deeply impressive between five out and two out at entry in an 80 grand handicap. He's up a lot in the weights and he's going to need to, he's going to be need to be the horse I think he is to produce another performance like that with thirteen pounds more in his back. But if he does, he's no fifty to one shot for the Ryanair. He'll be down to about ten to one. Um, I think he's he's the right price really for the race on Saturday. He's, he's no, he's definitely no less than a four to one shot. But I wouldn't really want to lay him at much bigger than nine to two or fives myself. So he's the right price. He's a horse I just want people to watch going forward. Now I make these videos trying to make a profit. A lot of my friends watch them, the subscribers watch them, I'm out to make a profit, I want to make a profit and if I put bets up, they're bets that I've put on myself, they're not for Arbin. Yes, if a horse I back for Cheltenham goes from 16 to 1 to 5 to 1 after a good win in a race, I'll think about laying my stake back so that I've got a free bet at 10 to 1, but I'm certainly not doing it to get fractions of a price or anything like that, it's nothing, I saw someone saying, oh, was I Arbin? I mean, that's not for me at all. I'm a panther who tries to win, tries hard to win, put decent bets up for my mates and for other people that are watching. And just to prove that a regular panther can win, as long as he's um, shrewd, as long as he's looking for value, and as long as the poor guy can get bets off as well, because, believe me, that pound forty eight offered today just shows what bookmaking's like, and it shows how tough it is for a panther who tries hard. I'm not saying I'm a massive winning panther, but they'll stop your account after you're £200 ahead. They'll stop your account if you're level, if you've had five good bets and three of them have lost and two of them have won. But if they've all been backed, or they all look like they're massive triers, they'll stop that account. They they want panthers that are just 
giving them money and betting on 10 horse accumulators and five horse five football teams in, in an accumulator. They don't want a punter who looks shrewd, who's who's putting uh, smart bets on. But I want to be putting smart bets on. I don't want to be contributing to the 230 million that a CEO is collecting. That's not the game for me. So, yeah, two horses to look for at the December meeting. Uh, we'll talk anti post after. The anti post bets are Hanny Sackle for the Mayors 5 to 1, Lost in Translation 9 to 2 for the Gold Cap, and Dolcita for the Mayors Novice at 8 to 1. The stakes were 40, 60, and 40. The bank is going to be 500 for the season. You can look back at the videos to see that the profits that have been put up in uh, 2018 and 2019. Uh, hopefully, you'll like, subscribe. Just comment below, um, lots of subscribers coming on, hopefully more to come, but just making these videos to try and show that a normal panther who puts a wee bit into the horse racing, tries to find value bets, can't actually make a profit, I have done it twice in a row, hoping to make it three in a row, but obviously no guarantees, that's my two horses to watch out for, they're both favourites, they're not bets for the weekend, they're bets to look forward and see how they can go forward, can they go to the festival and make an impact. So I'll thank you for watching. Hopefully you've backed some winners if you bet at the weekend. I'll be back to you next week. Thanks for watching and bye for now.